Are you ready to dive into a story that is not just about numbers and transactions, but a tale of ambition, power, and the future of how we spend, save, and dream? Imagine a world where two financial titans, Capital One and Discover, decide to join forces in a monumental merger that could reshape the very landscape of banking as we know it. This isn't just a business deal, it's a saga of giants battling for dominance, of strategies that could change the way we interact with our money, and of a future brimming with possibilities and challenges. From the shockwaves sent through the market, to the potential to challenge the behemoths like Visa and MasterCard, and the dramatic leadership tales unfolding behind the scenes. We're peeling back the layers of this epic financial move. So grab your seat and hold tight, because this journey through the merger of Capital One and Discover is full of twists, turns and insights that promise to keep you hooked till the very end. Please subscribe and like this video. Let's embark on this adventure together and explore what this groundbreaking deal means for the titans for the industry, and most importantly, for you. Picture this, it's like a massive jump in a Monopoly game, but this stuff's for real, and it's huge news. Think of Capital One and Discover as two giants on the playground of finance, kind of superheroes of the banking and credit card universe. Out of the blue, Capital One decides to scoop up Discover for a jaw-dropping $35 billion. Yeah, you got it, 35 billion. It's as if they've bought a gold castle in the finance kingdom. This isn't just any deal, it's the titan of deals for the year. Imagine you're glued to your favorite sport and the team nobody bets on scores the win right at the buzzer. That's the level of wow we're talking about in the biz world. You might be scratching your head wondering why Capital One would want to merge with Discover. Picture merging two superhero squads, each brings something awesome to the table. Capital One is all about cool banking tricks, rock solid in credit cards, car loans, and savings accounts. Discover? They're the champs of cashback rewards and making customers smile. By teaming up, they aim to be the banking world's dynamic duo. But here's the kicker, why should you or I care? Imagine a credit card or bank account that's got the best of both worlds. Sweeter rewards, unbeatable customer service, and banking that keeps up with tomorrow. This deal set to jazz up our financial lives, making everything more fun and handy. And oh boy, think about the feels for the folks working at both companies. For some, it's like a rocket to exciting new chances and growth. Yet for others, it's a waiting game filled with butterflies about what's next. It's a cocktail of thrill, hope, and a sprinkle of worry, wondering how this giant step will sculpt their career paths. In the big picture, this $35 billion deal isn't just about the moolah. It's about people, dreams, and the next chapter of banking. Capital One's making a daring leap, hoping to pen a fresh saga in finance. And for us watching from the sidelines, it's a storyline ripe with new twists and turns that could touch our lives in cool ways we've yet to dream up. So let's keep our eyes peeled. Watch how this blockbuster deal between Capital One and Discover plays out. It's more than just business, it's about our money's future, innovation, and how we juggle our finances. Who knows, this might just be the start of something way bigger and better for us all. So, Capital One Financial Corps, like a knight in shining armor, stepped up big time. They're all set to merge with Discover Financial Services in a blockbuster $35 billion deal. But here's the twist. They're not using cash, they're trading their own shares. Picture this, trading parts of your kingdom to unite with another, aiming to create the mightiest empire in the credit card realm of the US. This move isn't just about being the biggest, it's about standing shoulder to shoulder with the financial giants. They pulled off this deal like a page from a fairy tale. Capital One's offering 1.0192 of its shares for each Discover share. Kind of like trading magic beans, but giving more than one for each bean you get, and they're not holding back. Throwing in a 26.6% bonus on top. As of February 16th prices, it's like getting an extra large slice of birthday cake when you were expecting just a regular piece. This epic merger is expected to roll out by late 2024 or early 2025, waiting on the green light from market guardians, the antitrust folks, and a thumbs up from the people, the shareholders, is the talk of the town in Mergerland, outshining other big deals and setting the stage for a superhero team-up that could make even the big banks take notice. But 
there's a bigger picture. This isn't just about topping the charts. It's about carving out a kingdom in the payment network world, unlocking a treasure trove of possibilities. As we dive deeper into this saga, Richard Fairbank, the captain of the Capital One ship, dubbed this merger a once-in-a-lifetime chance. It's like uncovering a hidden gem that could propel them into the big leagues of payment networks, navigating the seas alongside giants like Visa and MasterCard. So as we eagerly watch this story unfold, let's see how this alliance between Capital One and Discover shapes up, promising a future where our finances might just get a boost. Stay tuned, because this journey of financial giants coming together is just getting started, and there's no telling what adventures await. In every epic story, there are hurdles to overcome. Imagine the scene. The market's guardians, the antitrust regulators, are giving the side eye to this huge merger between Capital One and Discover. They're like the wise folks of the village, wondering if this big union might tip the scales a bit too much. Rumors swirled around that the sheer size of this deal would definitely get the sage's attention. Ian Katz, a wise man from Capital Alpha Partners, shared his thoughts. He mentioned that some folks are worried this merger could squash competition. But turning it down might just leave Visa and MasterCard, the current kings of the payment network world, sitting pretty with their power unchallenged. Katz thinks the deal will probably get the green light, but politics, especially around election time, could play a big part in the timing. Then, from the halls of decision-making came voices of caution. Sherrod Brown and Elizabeth Warren, two big names in the Senate, voiced their concerns loud and clear. They're worried this mega-merger could end up being too powerful, leaving the little guys, small businesses and families lost in the shadow. Brown called for a close eye on the deal to make sure it doesn't hurt the regular folks, while Warren outright said the deal should be stopped, fearing it could harm competition and raise costs for everyone. Despite the stormy seas, Richard Fairbank, the captain of the Capital One ship, is standing firm. He's confident they're ready to navigate through the approval process, steering the ship with a steady hand. As we watch this tale unfold, we're caught in the tension between growth and keeping things fair, between the big players and the everyday people. What will happen next in this saga is anyone's guess. Will this union open up new horizons, or will it get tangled in the checks and balances? Zooming out, we see Capital One gearing up for the strategic shift. Traditionally, they've been partners with Visa and MasterCard for issuing credit cards, but with Discover joining their ranks, they're looking to cut out the middleman. This could give them more control over merchant fees, making a bold step towards independence. This move isn't just about gaining power, it's about carving out their own space in the bustling market of transactions. As the Capital One and Discover merger creates waves, experts are busy dissecting its potential impact, particularly on MasterCard, which might feel the effects more than Visa. Despite the buzz, some remain cautious, like Trevor Williams from Jefferies, who sees the synergy but questions if it will significantly boost Discover in the competitive arena. In the aftermath of the announcement, Discover's stock jumped by 12.6%, signaling market optimism about the deal. Capital One, on the other hand, held steady, poised to claim 60% of this new empire and unlock $2.7 billion in synergies promised by the merge. Jay Ritter, a voice of reason from the University of Florida, points out the high fixed costs in using technology to fight fraud, underscoring the industry belief that bigger might just be better for efficiency and security. Capital One, known for its high-profile endorsements and the iconic question, what's in your wallet, is led by CEO Richard Fairbank. At 73, Fairbank is steering the company towards a future focused on prime customers, recently adding the digital concierge service Velocity Black to its arsenal, aiming to compete with American Express and JP Morgan in attracting high-end clientele. Discover, meanwhile, brings its trio of networks, Discover Network, Diners Club International and Pulse Debit Network to the table, continuing efforts to expand its footprint in a market long dominated by Visa and MasterCard. This merger isn't just a combination of assets, it's a fusion of visions, a strategic move to reshape the payment network and consumer finance landscape, promising to redefine how we think about spending, loyalty and financial services. In the grand narrative of finance, where giants strive for autonomy and dominance, we find ourselves as onlookers to a saga that's still unravelling. This story promises a future where the realms of our wallets become the arena for these titans' ambitions. 
Capital One commands a significant portion of the market, responsible for about 10% of US credit card spending. Highlighting its influence, the merger with Discover hints at a future where this alliance could potentially challenge the dominance of Visa and MasterCard. However, the path isn't devoid of obstacles. Discover recently faced financial headwinds with a notable drop in fourth quarter profits due to compliance and risk management hurdles. Despite these challenges, Discover is set for a leadership transition, with Michael Rhodes from Toronto Dominion Bank poised to take the helm by early March, signaling a new chapter and optimism for the merger's potential to rejuvenate and strengthen their position. This merger isn't merely a business deal, it's a tale of ambition, resilience and the relentless quest for innovation. Capital One and Discover are on the verge of defining a new era in finance, ready to delve deeper into the narrative of payment networks and consumer finance transformation. We're left eager for what comes next, watching how this union will influence our financial landscape. The merger between Capital One and Discover stands as a testament to the evolving world of finance. A reminder of the constant change and the bright future that change promises for transactions and consumer interaction. If you find my video helpful, kindly subscribe, like, and drop this video your opinion. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Here's to your investing success, profitable investing.